Over the last 60 years, the pace of major innovations within the field of military technology has remained largely stagnant in comparison to the half century that preceded them. Sure, notable advancements in aircrafts, missile technology, and firearms have been made, but these improvements have been almost entirely iterative and are hardly comparable to the introduction of things like tanks, planes, and machine guns that revolutionized the nature of warfare over the first half of the 20th century. But that's about to change, largely due to the maturation of currently emerging technologies over the next two or three decades. However, out of all these forthcoming innovations, AR will arguably be the most impactful on an infantry level, with the potential to alter the way soldiers engage in combat and conduct operations to a degree that could be as disruptive as the creation of fully automatic weapons. In this video, I'll focus on the military applications of AR, and we'll primarily discuss the ways in which it will enhance soldier lethality on the battlefield. Before I start, however, I'd like to succinctly describe the purpose of my channel for any new viewers. I make videos on the future of emerging technologies, and explore everything from the applications they can engender once fully realized, to the manner in which they'll shape the future of our society. If you're fascinated by these kinds of topics, then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. With that said, let's dive in. To start on, it's worth noting that many of the use cases I'll list in this video have already been conceived by the U.S. military and are currently being designed to work with IVAS, a head-mounted display system that's being collaboratively developed by Microsoft and the United States Army. The headset has undergone a turbulent development process and has been subject to multiple revisions, in large part due to attempts to find the correct balance between functionality, weight, and comfort with existing technology. Its newest iteration, IVAS 1.2, was received favorably by soldiers after initial testing earlier this year and is set to undergo combat evaluation in 2025. However, regardless of this project's outcome, it's obvious that due to how many compelling ways AR could be applied on the battlefield, that at some point, its wide-scale deployment is bound to occur. And out of all these use cases, situational awareness will undoubtedly serve as one of its most valuable functionalities. Imagine you're on the battlefield engaged in a close-range firefight. A soldier equipped with an AR headset would immediately be able to identify and track enemy combatants in real time. This could be achieved by superimposing markers or visual cues above the heads of identified enemies, making them easily distinguishable to the soldiers wearing these devices. This tracking mechanism could allow for real-time updates on the positions and actions of each individual enemy soldier, effectively allowing you to look around at any time and tell who's behind what cover with the exact position of all enemy forces, even if you're not visually keeping track of them. Of course, it's important to note that should the headset's cameras temporarily lose view of enemy combatants, then a re-identification process would be required. However, this issue could be mitigated by synchronizing the tracking systems across all soldiers equipped with these devices, so that if one soldier has view of an enemy, every friendly wearing a headset can instantly see their location. In addition, by utilizing the same tracking mechanism, a powerful range of safety features could be provided. For example, Let's say you're up against a large number of enemy forces and can't focus on each individual combatant. Because of the cameras on your HMD constantly surveilling the battlefield, it could detect when someone's preparing to throw a grenade or fire a weapon at you by analyzing their movements. When threats like these are identified, the headset could visually relay a message to you in your field of vision, like duck or change cover, providing potentially life-saving information on a whim. Think of it like multiple pairs of eyes that monitor every aspect of your surrounding environment. If someone's about to open fire on you from behind, the cameras on your HMD could detect this and cause it to immediately prompt you to duck down and get out of the line of fire. In preliminary testing, a similar system has also been developed for vehicles. This is accomplished by placing cameras on the outside of tanks or armored trucks, allowing a video feed of its ambient environment to be synced to the soldier's head-mounted display, effectively allowing them to see through its walls and perceive a 360-degree view of their external surroundings. This capability is already available for F-35 fighter pilots, as the helmets that they're currently equipped with allow them to see beneath their jet's cockpit via the same mechanism. Another useful feature, which is already being developed for IVAS, is weapon integration. This will significantly augment the manner in which soldiers use firearms in a host of different ways, one of which is the ability to shoot around corners and have a live feed from their weapon scope overlaid onto their field of vision, effectively allowing them to blind fire and retain the level of accuracy that having access to a scope can provide. But its capabilities could extend far beyond this and could even decrease the amount of training required to teach soldiers how to effectively aim firearms. For instance, 
Imagine a system that could account for recoil, making it so that when you look through a scope, a visual line or curve is overlaid onto your field of vision, indicating where the bullets are likely to land. This line could take into account factors like the weapon's orientation, ammunition type, and anticipated recoil. As the soldier aims, the display could continuously adjust the trajectory based on the weapon's movement, ensuring that they see an accurate representation of where the bullets are likely to hit. In order to make this work effectively, it would likely require sensors built into the firearm, allowing it to factor in environmental conditions like wind, humidity, and temperature to provide a precise prediction of the bullet's trajectory. This would be especially useful for snipers, and would both decrease the level of training needed to become an effective marksman and increase their accuracy levels in a significant capacity. The same system could also be used to achieve more lethal precision. For example, the line that accounts for recoil trajectory could also show you exactly where to aim where you have the highest probability of hitting a vital organ, like the brain or heart for instance. These visual overlays could be implemented either via a scope or head-mounted display, but due to all the other use cases I listed that only an HMD can provide, Adding it to a scope seems redundant if soldiers are already wearing headsets for other reasons that could also provide them with this capability. Furthermore, such a system wouldn't be limited to just firearms, and could even allow you to calculate the distance that a grenade will travel before throwing it. To accomplish this, a visual overlay of its predictive path could be superimposed onto your field of vision, consisting of a curved line that anticipates its trajectory. For the system to function, it could use data it's gathered from previous times you've thrown grenades, training itself on the average amount of space they travel for each position your arm is at when you throw them, while at the same time adjusting for your level of strength. A brace could even be employed to monitor muscle movements, allowing for a more precise calculation of where they're likely to land. Also, as I mentioned in this first segment, the range of assets of which AR can provide on the battlefield extend well beyond enhancing lethality and into the realm of safety features. While it could ensure the grenades you throw hit their targets with greater reliability, it could also help prevent you from getting killed by one. As an example, if the headset's cameras detect a grenade landing within your proximity, it could visually outline its lethal blast radius, allowing you to make a more informed judgment about whether to seek cover or try to move outside the area affected by its fragmentation. One of the most obvious ways AR can be applied on the battlefield is through its ability to combine a broad range of tools and equipment into a single device. IVAS, the AR headset being developed by Microsoft for the U.S. Army, already incorporates both night vision and thermal imaging capabilities, allowing soldiers to enable either of these functions on demand. While night vision is already widely employed, the significance of having thermographic imaging in a head-mounted display is a potential game-changer for the average soldier. By simply toggling on this capability, they could detect concealed enemies hiding in vegetation, behind walls, or through smoke. This technology works on the principle of capturing and visualizing heat signatures emitted by objects. This works because all objects, including humans and their equipment, emit these signatures in the form of infrared radiation. Beyond night vision and thermal imaging, AR headsets could also offer digital zoom and magnification, allowing soldiers to zoom in on distant objects or areas similar to how they would with binoculars. The advantage of this being is that it could replace the need for separate devices and seamlessly integrate them into a single head-mounted display. But the tools the AR can replace don't just end to optical equipment, but could also extend to mapping and navigation capabilities. As this video demonstrates, this allows for a 3D map to be overlaid onto your field of vision, which includes a detailed representation of terrain, waypoints, and other relevant information. Once the location you wish to receive directions for is selected, the directional information is superimposed onto your field of view. This functions similarly to how video games allow players to set waypoints that are always visible, visually guiding them to their objectives. This video lists just a few of the many ways that augmented reality can be utilized in combat, but the applications of this technology extend far beyond military use cases. If you want to learn more about how AR can be used in our everyday lives, I'd recommend you check out a video I made a while back if you haven't already, as I cover everything from the future of AR glasses to the ultimate form of this technology in brain-computer interfaces. As always, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and keep watch for new content, and I'll catch you soon.